out of my whole family, I'm the only person who has had plastic surgery. And I think if other women feel that that is what will make them feel whole and satisfied, then I think that's their healthy way of helping themselves. You looked at yourself in the mirror for hours and you didn't like what you saw. I would consistently look in the mirror and it was very sad. I mean, you don't want to hate your face when you're looking at yourself, so it's pretty sad. So I have had rhinoplasty, a chin implant, and then I removed it, which others probably saw, um, and then I had a boob job. Oh, I thought you had two. I did. I had two. Okay. Why did you have two? I got them bigger the second time. I, I know. I don't look, like, huge or abnormal. I just, you know, wanted more boobage. Any lip injections? Oh, I did do the lip injections, yes. Okay. That was fun. Personally, for myself, my nose would get in my way like every day. So rhinoplasty, it was needed. Um, and I also did cosmetic surgery on my teeth. There was something that every day, if my jaw hurt me or if it was could be a medical condition or if it's so, you know, if I'm analyzing something over and over every day instead of going out and having fun and thinking of other things, I'd rather bless myself and get the surgery and move forward in my life. So your own daughter, would you ever allow her to have plastic surgery? If she is coming to me with a chronic issue and staring at herself every day in the mirror for hours and hours on end, yes. I would say let's go consult somebody who is knowledgeable about this. Let's figure out what is the safest and healthiest thing to do and not go overboard with it. So I never did anything, I think, overboard. And I would hope that, you know, my confidence and my self-respect is where it needs to be. I encourage women to take care of themselves, invest in themselves, and be happier.